Hey everybody, it's David Dyer and welcome to Idioms episode 28. I'm your host and Idioms is my mini cast, five minutes at the most, about the same time it takes to pull the trigger on purchasing that Las Vegas snow globe at your neighbor's garage sale. And as the name implies, I talk about idioms, those phrases we say in everyday conversation that seem completely out of place, yet you know exactly what they mean by the way they're being used. Good, so let's go. This is Idioms episode 28 and the idiom we're going to cover today is... Every dog has its day. You've heard it. So it's me, Matt Damon, and Tom Hanks, and we're all going for this toothpaste commercial back in the 90s. And it's a battle because we all know this is a make or break moment for our careers. Well, they say I'm too short, Hanks is too wholesome, so guess who gets it? Damon. Looks like every dog has its day. Literal meaning, to celebrate the birth of your canine companion the same way you'd celebrate a person's, or even more because dogs are better than people. Contextual meaning, everybody, and I mean everybody, even my neighbor Weird Mike will have a chance at some level of success at something in their life. So let's explore the origin. Phrases.org.uk says the beginning of this one goes all the way back to 405 BC, and according to the medieval Dutch scholar Erasmus, it's the result of the death of the Greek playwright Euripides, who was mauled and killed by a pack of dogs that a rival had set upon him. A rival what? A rival playwright did this to him? When I think of playwrights, I think of Arthur Miller or Neil Simon, not Suge Knight. Anyway, from this event, the meaning came to signify that even the lowliest of creatures will eventually get their revenge in this life, no matter how powerful their opponent may be. Even though the saying had been around for hundreds of years, it first starts showing up in print in the early 1600s, and most famously in a line from Shakespeare's Hamlet, where he says, Let Hercules himself do what he may. The cat will mew, and dog will have his day. Now, if you know the play, you'll know that the dog in this statement is actually Hamlet himself, and he's expressing his desire to exact revenge upon King Claudius for the death of his father and a bunch of other crap, and oh, just go read it. It's fantastic. Now, even though that's kind of dark, at some point, people started using the phrase to inspire and motivate rather than to state their desire to terminate an incestuous marriage in Denmark between their uncle and their mom. Seriously. Go read Hamlet. It's great. It's like the Lion King for adults. And rolls off the tongue.tumblr.com lifts our spirits by telling us that over the course of the next couple hundred years, people started using the phrase in a more positive manner to highlight how at some point in life, everybody gets their shot. Everybody gets their chance at success, happiness, whatever. Every dog has its day. Heck, even Andy Warhol put away his soup cans long enough to coin a phrase with a similar meaning that went... In the future, everyone will be world famous for 15 minutes. Now, Andy may have been talking about all the models he hung out with at Studio 54, who were destroying their septum by shoving cocaine up their nose, but you get the gist of it. The point is, it's a fun way to say, hey, chin up, kiddo, you'll get there. I like the uplifting take on this one, and if you've been listening to the minicast for a while, and boy, you better hope you have. You'll know that I'm generally a pretty positive person who has no desire to exact revenge on anybody. I like anything that motivates people to move forward and make their lives better. And if saying every dog has its day moves the needle, that's progress. And if directing a pack of feral Yorkshire Terriers to attack Andrew Lloyd Webber is what you think will take you to the next level, well then I think you were born a couple thousand years too late. So that's it. Episode 28 of Idioms is complete and my boy Ollie gets his 15 minutes every day. I'm your host, David Dyer. Thanks for listening. Check back for new episodes every Tuesday and Friday. But until then, I'll catch you on the flip side.